in this movie we will work on this delete.php file so back to my editor first of all let me show you in my file of view from database we have this link of delete where we are equating the id of our record so if i go to my page of view from database if i click any of the delete for example this fourth john record you can see delete.php id is equal to 4 so we will design this page in the same way we design our update page so i'm going to open my file of update.php and i'm going to save this file as delete.php so in this file we will have everything same so if i refresh this page you can see we fetch this data of john with this php that we got here so we are fetching our data according to the search query parameter of id and showing it inside our form so in this file i have to do one simple change in the sql so instead of updating my record i will delete the particular record so it will be sql of delete from my table of emp underscore record and then i have to add the where clause which i already got so i'm going to remove all of this unnecessary code from here so i'm saying here delete from my employee record table where id is equal to this search query parameter then on the next line we will run our sql and we will send our user back to this page of view from database dot php and this time the id will be record deleted successfully so that's it for deleting our record i just made a simple change in my sql i change it to delete but before proceeding i have to do one more simple change and that is in the form you can see we are having this update.php form action attribute so i'm going to make it to delete so if i save this one and if i refresh my page if i click submit my record let's also change the name of this button so first of all let's make it to delete record click delete you can see record deleted successfully now let's delete this alex record click delete so we fetch the alex data click delete here record deleted successfully let's also delete these hanks 63 also this one so that's how we delete our records